Hey everyone, this is Jeff Gumas from Crowded Learning, and I'm excited to welcome you to week one of a 10-week event within the Lynx community, Build Your Toolkit for Adult Education with Crowded Learning. The goal of this event is pretty simple. Over the course of the next two months, we are going to be exploring great freely available resources that support reading, writing, and language instruction, along with free tools and strategies that can be used to communicate and share these resources with students. The hopeful result of all of this will be your leaving this event having grown your toolkit of literacy instructional resources in ways that both increase variety and expand opportunities for students to engage with learning in various ways, both in and out of the classroom. So how do we plan to do this? The format for the event will follow a consistent two-week sequence of explorations and discussions all organized around different literacy and technology-based topics, with an emphasis on many of the components of evidence-based reading instruction. Topic one, starting today, will focus on exploring Crowded Learning's website and the various tools they've built to organize high-quality free and open education resources. Topic two will focus on a selection of highly recommended leveled resources that support development of comprehension with learners. Topic three will focus on resources and strategies for providing fluency for students, including a special announcement about some newly released resource updates, along with a related upcoming crowdsourcing initiative we're really excited to share. Topic four will focus on resources that can be used to develop academic vocabulary, as well as resources to support grammar instruction and practice. And finally, we will pull all of this together in topic five, where our focus will be free content sharing and assignment tools, along with strategies for using these tools to incorporate some of the great resources you've learned about over the previous eight weeks. For each of these two week topics, we will follow a consistent sequence of focus. The focus of week one will be a guided research, excuse me, a guided exploration of resources. Within the initial post for that week, there will be a link to a video such as this one that provides a brief introduction and overview of the resources being explored. Within this post, there will also be an overview of the focus, a set of questions to guide our discussion, and a note-taking tool for you to capture your thoughts as you explore the resources. Week two will build off of week one with the focus shifting to strategies for in, in, excuse me, integrating the resources explored in week one. While there won't be a video, there again will be an initial post that includes an overview of the focus for the discussion, a set of questions to guide the discussion, and a note-taking tool for you to capture your thoughts. So let's start digging in to this week's focus. To start off, a little overview of who Crowded Learning is and why we are focusing on these resources. Crowded Learning is a Chicago-based 501c3 educational nonprofit with a mission to increase the use of open education resources, or OER, within adult education. We work to achieve this aim through three main types of activities. First, expanding awareness of all of the great resources and tools that exist and are freely available for use. Second, promoting particularly effective resources we find, along with supporting educators by helping them develop strategies for how to integrate these resources with their learners. And finally, experimenting with different approaches to more effectively share one another's work in a centralized, organized manner, as well as developing tools and processes to streamline the process by which teachers locate, share, and assign free and open content to learners. What you'll be exploring this week are some of the things we have done to achieve those aims on the Crowded Learning website. From the very beginning, we have talked with and surveyed instructors to find out what adult educators are using with their students. This resulted in what are called our skill directories, which are a set of online and downloadable listings of high quality, freely available resources in 11 different skill areas, covering academic, employability, and 21st century competencies. We will take a look at the skill directories in a moment, as this will be one of the main areas of the website you explore as part of the first week of this topic. In addition to these skill directories, we have a Crowded Musings blog, where we share our thoughts and ideas about free and open education resources, as well as highlight particularly strong resources through our fantastic and free resource of the month, for which this month's post is shown here. 
We also host webinars regularly to talk about these resources, as well as share strategies and other important information about the concept of technology integration within adult education and open education resources. All of our resources of the month and webinar recordings are archived on the site, which we will look at in a moment. In terms of how we experiment, a major part of our focus is to increase the amount of media-rich, mobile-friendly content we have available to support our learners. We believe not only does this provide opportunity to extend learning outside of class, it can also help to develop learners' digital fluency skills. An example of something that we've done along these lines is with a great free Tier 2 academic vocabulary curriculum developed by Appalachian State University. Each of the 38 lessons within this curriculum are freely available for download. To provide more interactive and engaging options for learners to study and learn these words, we developed Quizlet decks for each lesson. Now in addition to the free downloadable lessons, learners can study words anytime, anywhere on their mobile devices. We are also developing a tool called Skillblocks, which will help instructors develop skill-based learning plans for students by pulling lessons and activities from a variety of resources into one place. And finally, we are about to begin experimenting with ways to leverage the expertise of educators through upcoming crowdsourcing events, hence our name, Crowded Learning, to develop resources such as the vocabulary study decks I just mentioned, development of video libraries around specific topics, and new tools that facilitate learner-driven skill development. One such event will be introduced during tier, excuse me, topic three of this event, Fluency Resources. So now let's take a quick look at what you're going to be exploring this week. Here are the questions that will be used to guide this week's discussion, um, which will focus on reading, writing, and language resources you currently use, what resources you discover from Crowded Learning's website seem promising, and why you feel these resources, resources are or might be particularly effective and engaging to your learners. Let's take a moment to hop on the Crowded Learning website so that we can give you a quick overview of where you will find things. So I'm hopping over into the Crowded Learning website and this is what it looks like. As you will see, uh, this is the main page and there are a number of menu options here at the top. If you want to get back to this home page, you can always click on our logo. But the areas that we're going to be exploring, uh, aptly named, the first one is Explore. This is where we have begun and, and continue to aggregate free and open education resources that support you. So you'll see those resources are organized into four different areas, a skill directory, content repositories, professional development resources, and teacher tools. Uh, the main area of focus for this week's event uh, is the skill directory, and this is where we have compiled resources that educators have recommended for use with adult education students. And as mentioned earlier, these are broken into academic competencies, workplace competencies, and 21st competencies. Now, obviously, since this is a reading, writing, and language event, um, we encourage you to look specifically at those directories. And this is what they look like. When you click on any of those directories, a PDF launches, and from this, you can actually launch any of the resources that are listed. However, you'll notice that up top here, there is an open and drive button. If you click on this, it's going to actually open the Google Doc in your drive and allow you to download it or make a copy of it so that you can add to the, your own copy of the resource directory. Um, just because this is a reading and writing event, however, does not mean that you're limited to just looking at those. Uh, obviously, within the content areas, there's some great resources that provide for rich reading and writing opportunities. Within the workplace competency directories, the communication directory is particularly good for ESL learners as there's lots of resources that focus on language development and communication. Uh, and finally, uh, the information literacy and digital literacies are also really uh, relevant directories to the topics that we're going to be focusing on uh, within this event. So these are the skill directories, probably where you're going to be spending most of your time. However, a couple other areas of interest. Our work is where we compile all of the various webinars and blog postings that we have done over the course of the past two years. So you'll see here is our upcoming webinar. Uh, it's actually on the, uh, the resource of the month from this month, the career kits from 
um, City University of New York and the New York State Education Department, you can register for that webinar here. But we also have our past recordings of previous webinars so that you can learn more about various topics and various resources that we've featured in those webinars. Further below, you'll see the resource of the month, and this is an index and archive of all of the resources of the month that we have focused upon. I'll actually click on this month just so you can see. So this will redirect you to our Crowded Musings blog. Uh, for the resources of the month, we go into a bit of depth on particularly effective resources. So in this case, these career kits, uh, there is a full explanation of where they came from and why, as well as a walkthrough of the resources so you can see how in this particular case, reading and analyzing text skills are integrated throughout the career kit um, and other information and tips for using the resource with your learners. So that's a great uh, thing to explore. And then finally, Skillbox. Skillbox is, as I mentioned, a platform we are in the process of developing. It is not quite done yet. However, uh, if you click on each of these subject areas, you can see that we have listed the resources that we intend to include in Skillbox, but we've also got uh, links to specific things such as alignments of the resources. Uh, for Common Lit, which is one of the resources we will focus upon, you'll see that we have a directory of standards aligned to the CCR standards links that will launch you into the Common Lit uh, resource. And you'll see that these have been pre-filtered to fit a specific lexile range and a specific set of standards, both in informational text and literary text areas. And on the right, you'll see the number of readings that actually exist. So that is what we're going to be focusing on uh, over the course of the next few, uh, excuse me, next week, and it'll be the focus of this week's exploration. So that's it for the Topic 1 video overview. Please check out this week's full post, and I want to say happy exploring, and thank you for participating in what we hope will be two months of great sharing amongst adult educators.